Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuning into Cooking with Win. On the menu today, we're gonna to be making ketchup tabagi. For my ketchup, I'll be using the garden egg plants, which is the white bitter ball. This is the ketchup, but it's also called the pea egg plants. And I'll be using the bitter bitter ball. So this is the frozen ketchup and this is the dry ketchup. You can use whichever one. The only difference is, if you're gonna use the dry ketchup, you need to soak it in water for 30 minutes before cooking them. If you don't like your soup too bitter, you can mix your ketchup with the white bitter ball. That helps balance the flavor of the soup. But if you're gonna use just ketchup and you like your soup bitter, you don't need to do anything. Just go right ahead, wash it one time and add it to your pot. But if you don't like the bitterness, wash it about three times, drain the water, and then add it to your pot before cooking it. Or you can boil this, just the ketchup by itself four times or three times, drain the water, and then add it to your pot with the rest of your meat and ingredients. But I'm not gonna do that because I have the white bitter ball and the other bitter ball to balance the taste. I'm not gonna be using this. I just wanted to show you guys that you can either use the dry ketchup or the frozen ketchup. And I have my topogi oil. You can get this in the African food markets. I have the Liberian Kui Solder and a Liberian Country Solder. These two you can also find in the African food market. But just in case you cannot find this, you can always use baking soda to make your soup. I'll be using seasoned salt, two fita cube, chicken flavor bouillon, habanero pepper, one onion. You can use whatever meat or fish you prefer, but this is what I'm gonna use. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using. Now that I've listed the ingredients, what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and wash my ketchup and my bitter ball and add it to my already clean meat. So I'll be adding my onions and everything in here together. So that's the advantage of the ketchup tabaki. You don't have to boil the meat separate. You're gonna be adding everything into the pot together and then you're gonna cook them. In here I have my meat, my ketchup, my bitter ball and my bitter bitter ball, my pepper and my onions. I'll add my two Vita cube here. Now I'll be adding seasoned salt like this much. Chicken flavor bouillon like this much. Once you have your seasoning in here, you can go ahead and add your liquid. I'm adding my first eight cups of water and I'm adding three more. So you just wanna add enough water to be able to cook your meat and your bit of water. So once you have your water in here like this, you wanna go ahead and take it to the stove you're gonna be cooking this for about an hour and 30 minutes. It all depends on the type of meat you have in your soup. If you have hard meat, you're gonna cook it longer. If you have softer meat, it should take you about one hour. Once the soup is ready, I'm gonna show you guys the next step. Okay, that I've been cooking for about 45 minutes now. Still have a couple more minutes to go. You also taste it to see if you need seasoning. Adjust the seasoning according to your preference. Just let it cook till it's ready. So I'm gonna check on the kit today. It's been an hour, 30 minutes now. I'll turn my stuff off, and next thing I'll go ahead and take the meat from the pot, and then I'll blend the um bit up on the kit today. Once you get all your meat and fish out from the pot, you can go ahead and get your blender ready. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my meat and my fish out and then I'll show you guys the next step. Next thing is to go ahead and blend your kit today. So I have my nutri bullet I'm gonna be using. And I have the big cup. I'll just go ahead and add the um, kit today in here so that I can be able to blend it. So when you're blending it, you don't wanna blend it like smoothly. You just wanna like rough chop it. So you just wanna press on it for like five seconds. See, that's how you want it to blend. Once you blend it, you add it to the pot. So what I did, I took it from the pot and added it to a bowl. Then I left the pot empty so that when I blend the kit today, I can just add it into the pot. So just add your kit today. Five seconds, okay? You don't want it to blend all the way so it looks like smoothie. 
so you see so once you're done blending your kit in it this is how it should look right now it's too thick so you you can go ahead and add some water what I usually do I add water to the cup shake it and then pour it into this you don't want to add too much water you just want a little bit to loosen the kit today pour it into your soup and once you add the water you just want to stir it in If you think it's still thick, you can add a little more water. So like this consistency is okay. So you can just take it back to the stove. You just want to keep it on the stove for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. So we're not going to add a meat to it right now. We're going to take it to the stove. So right now, since I have my soup on the stove, next thing is to go ahead and get your country soda ready. So I'll go ahead and pour some of my country soda in here. Like this much, and then I'll just add water. And once you add your water, just stir it to mix it in. And once the soda melts, then you can add it to your soup. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes, and then I'll go ahead and add my oil to my soup. So basically I have two cups of oil here. I'll just add all of it. Once you have your oil in, stir it to make it in. So we're just gonna give that five minutes to heat up and then I'll be adding my soda. So it has been on the stove for five minutes. I'll go ahead and turn my stove off. At this time, I'll be adding in my soda. I'll first start off with my country soda. So you just wanna stir it. And then just pour it on top. And I also wanna add the um, bicarbonate or the labrequi soda. You also wanna sprinkle a little bit on top. If you like a lot of soda on your soup, feel free to add a lot. If you don't like too much soda, do not add a lot. I know there are some people who like to taste the soda. I just like a lot of soda on my soup. Not a lot of soda, but I like to be able to taste the soda so you don't feel like I'm eating red or soup. And I'll also be adding a little bit of baking soda. And a little more quick soda. I'm not from Lofa Canto, but I can still eat a lot of soda. So once you have your soda on your soup, you wanna stir it. At this time, you can also add in your meat and your fish. All your meat. So I have mine in here. I'll just carefully add them to the soup so it don't splash everywhere. So once you have your meat and your fish in here, you can just go ahead and stir it to mix them in to the soup. You can let it sit for a couple minutes so it can settle because right now it's like all foam on top because of the solar. You can let it settle before you eat or if you want to go ahead and eat your food right away, you can go ahead. So at this point, there's nothing left. This is the end of the um, cooking process of the soup. This is Lila B. Rain to the Tabaki. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I went ahead and played it with rice for you guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys the rice. This is it, played it with rice. So, yes, guys, this is the Labyrin Kit to the Tabaki. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, like, share with your friends and family, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.